Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie, and I'm done working for at least a bit, so I'm able to go back to playing some gacha games. Uh, let's go into some Dracalia, because there's a... There is the... Today I'm going to be doing the... What is it? Nightmare? It is... Yes, it is Nightmare Challenge Battle. I haven't done it. I did it, obviously, yesterday, because I needed to make sure I was able to do it, and not just, like, waste everyone's time. Um... Let me see, what would be good? Yeah, no. Um, pretty sure I have to take off, um, not auto-repeat. Anyway, this is what I got. This is, uh, this is what I'm using for actually farming the event. So I'm able to beat it with this because you can see my might here. Mim is 100% decked out to fight, um, HMS. So she's stupid powerful right now. Uh, if you see here, I actually, yeah, 2,000 less than what my actual fire team is. So I'm going to be able to beat it pretty easy. The only thing is a bummer is that she does not have anti-sleep, but I don't care. So we're going to go into it. We can beat Nightmare. I wonder, I hope everyone else is doing pretty good against Nightmare. My bear is also at level 35, by the way, so I'm doing a lot of damage. I expect to be able to beat this pretty easy, I'll say. Um, but let's see. You know, talk, talk shit, get hit, as they like to say. Alright, let's get into it. Uh, no, I'm gonna take all that off. I could just do it that way, but I'm not gonna do it that way. I'll actually play. Oh, did I fall asleep? I did fall asleep. See what happens when I actually start playing? I go to sleep immediately. That never happens to the AI. The AI is smarter than I am. Perfect. Double Dragon Claw. I'm just gonna wait for... There we go. Oh yeah. The hottest. I'm pretty sure I missed everyone with that, but it's fine. Dragon Claw. Dragon Claw. Oh man. You beautiful monster here. Come on. Come on. Come on. I also switched back to English at some point. Uh, oh god. I used that skill just in time. Alright, no one died from that, right? No one died. Alright. Alright, that's it. Ah, uh, boom. There we go, and that should be enough to break. You should be dead here. Come on, you got this. You got this. Beat it, beat it, beat it. Come on. Alright, it's gonna last a little bit longer. I should be falling asleep or not. No? Alright. There we go. Dragon Claw. Beat him. Simple enough. Yeah, a lot of being able to beat this is having your facility at... Having your facility at max level. And once you do that, it's pretty simple. Not bad. Hello, Ramona. Are you gonna give me anything? No, not really. Rewards obtained. Thank you. But yeah, let me quickly, uh, let me see. Nightmare should be able to be beaten by like a whole bunch of like, I always wonder like how much people suffer with Nightmare on these, because these end up being the easiest type of events for me, just because it's pretty easy to build a team. Let me actually get into the team now that I've beaten it and show it off. Uh, this is Mim, of course. I'm not gonna show off any of the Worm Prints just because the Worm Prints are- Out of all the Worm Prints, this is the best one, by the way. Sister's Day Out, you should absolutely get Sister's Day Out because, um, besides giving you 150% metal, Force Strike, uh, 40%, and then also Charge, um, Force Charge three times, uh, I mean, yeah, Force Charge three times, fills 25% of skill gauges with the user's Force Strikes, connect up to three times per quest, that's kind of nutty. Uh, it helps a lot of characters who have like slower skills than others be able to just four strike and get them very quickly. Uh, so you want to use it on a person that has like nothing but four strikes. It's love has it right now. I didn't put it on my Mim just because Mim doesn't need it. I use a decent amount though. Um, but yeah, there's Mim. I use her. She has Dragon Claw. This is her ability that I use with a friend because every time it connects, it fills the, uh, the Dragon Gauge. She has Flame of Passion. It's very simple. Uh, uh, shoot flame forward, HP 50% up. Um, 
This is her shapeshift, which is why I immediately shapeshift, just because she gets stronger, and her second time she uses it, she gets way stronger. And then the attack rate also increases, so there's just no reason. The only thing that, like, is a bummer of why you shouldn't use her, um, I use her because, screw playing the game at its, as it's supposed to, I guess. Um, it's because this right here, she's only immune to fire and stuns. I believe this is where it says it? No, right here. So yeah. Fire and stuns. There's no fire and there's no stuns. It's all sleep. Um, so you might want to use like a... Let me see what other... Ooh, come back here. Let me see what other Lancers there are. Let me see. I think you can go anti-sleep. Yeah, so here's all the units that are anti-sleep. Uh, funny enough, including... For some reason, why are you anti-sleep? Vixel? Why are you don't need to sleep? Anyway. Um... Navid, especially with his buffs. If you have Navid with his buffs, it's an automatically include. Uh, Ren is incredibly stupid good, and if you have Ramona, you should also use her. As a left, I don't have her buffs, but she's anti-sleep, so that's good enough. She's at level 85. Emma. Emma's fantastic. I think she's actually the better spe um, spear unit that I have compared to Mim. Lance unit, I should say. Um, spear, Lance, is there a difference? Hmm. Same thing to me. Anyway, she's great because she is a full-on party supporter. She has Pom Pom Pump, which increases the strength of Flame to two allies by 25%, which is crazy. And then this increases defense. If you're someone who's like brand new to the game, Emma for these type of events is going to be extremely like useful. And she's also using like HMS and stuff, so she's a good girl to like build up if you got time. And of course, here's your slip resistance. Um. Halloween Lowen, which I'm unfortunately if you just start the game you can't actually get him, but he's anti-sleep, which means that he absolutely clowns on this event like no one's business. Uh, because he has anti-sleep 100%. His uh, skills are insane, because it, it restores HP to all allies, continuing healing over the next 15 seconds, and then increases everyone's defense by 10% for 5 seconds. And then the other one is another heal, and... Um, Heals 10% of that, and then once the HP buff reaches the limit, an HP recovery effect is granted instead. So that means if they get all... Basically, you want to combo those two, and then of course he has all their healing from everything. So he's just fantastic in this event. Oh, boy. But yeah, this, I think this event's pretty easy, if um, I'm being 100% honest, but that's also because I... Again, I have my facility all built up. Thanks to you, I'm catching up to Dad's legendary blacksmith okay. status. I'm gonna be the best Ooh, blacksmith. I think I still have my free summons. Let's see if I can get anything from it. No, my free summons are gone. Oh, before I end the video, I should actually show off. I will crush um, my enemies, mind, body, and soul. All right, kinky. I'll be right back. BRB. All right, I'm back. Uh, sorry, no music in the background, so you're just gonna only hear me and occasionally calls. But anyway, there's official art for this is only posted on the Twitter for Dragalia, so you should check out their Twitter. Uh, not to promote it, they have official art for the. This is how his 3D model is gonna look in game for Dragalia for Rathalos. Looking damn good. Oof, fantastic. Look at this boy. Look at this giant fire dragon. Great. And then the other one we have right here. This is actually how Berserker is going to look in the armor, which he looks insane. He's also sword because they said it was going to be sword in the um, this week's Dragalia. So, um, man, look at this. This is a fantastic design. Now, based on the wording of the Twitter post, which actually got me confused, made me think that it was a free unit, is that, look, during this event, you'll be able to add limited uh, time adventurers to your part, to your team. Uh, here's an illustration of Hunter Berserker, one of the adventures you can expect to meet. As befits him, he fights in a full armor made of Raphalos parts. Um, I assume that meant that he would be free, I guess. Uh, just because usually they do events and they're like, when they do an event, um, like a regular Dragalia event where you get a free dragon and a free adventure, you get both. I think it's very rare for you to not get... I don't think... The only time you don't get both is during a... Um, um, is during crossovers. Because uh, Fire Emblem, the crossover only had one hero. And then during Mega Man, you only had Mega Man. So it makes sense if we only free dude we get is Raphalos. And then who knows what we'll get inside the... So if he's a banner unit, I expect probably like two more, just like Fire Emblem. What those two classes are going to be is kind of tough. This is obviously Sword. Um, 
I don't think you'll ex- I don't expect any healers or magic unless you want to do like a Vispa Wasp or something uh, for uh, Monster Hunter. I don't know. So I think it'll be probably be the basics. Let me quickly switch back to Drugalia. There we go. And let's see what the... Um, just so I can remember myself who I think it could potentially be. Let's see. Alright, so we got Sword, Blade, Dagger, Axe, Harpoon, Spear, Lance, one of those two, Bow, and again, I'm assuming no magic user at all for this, um, even if they are wearing armor. Uh, I don't know, I think you can count out Blade and Sword, obviously. So then we have Dagger, Axe, Harpoon, and Bow. Uh, yeah, so I think chances are from the adventures we'll get one of the other from these four specifically. Which four, who knows? We'll see. Obviously when we have more info, I'll discuss more about it. And and in terms of who can it be, I have no idea. What monsters it could be, no idea, bro. Uh, I called you bro, but I usually like to say dude. I'm more of a dude guy. Anyway, that's today's Dragalia video. I hope you enjoyed um, me doing Nightmare. Tell me how you're doing. If you're having troubles, I can definitely try and help. I'm the last person to help, but I can definitely try and help you. Um, and leave a like if you like the video. I have to start asking that in the front because I forgot, <laughs> I think I forgot recently for a Bounty Rush video and I think that one only has two likes now. <laughs> Uh, whatever, it was also kind of a, it, it wasn't the best video in the world. Whatever, it was a great video. Positivity. And with that positive statement, I'll say goodbye everyone. I hope you have a nice day and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.